Dragon Shadow Wood Sword Thunder Power Sleep Card Captors of the Cloud Expect the Unexpected Now The Secrets of the Cloud Were all a mystery But when this mighty book was opened The powers were set free Card Captors A mystic adventure Card Captors A quest for all time Each card possesses a power all its own We've got to find them to bring the power home. A mystic adventure. Hard captors. A quest for all time. Hard captors. Card captors. Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Card Captors Sakura, the Animatic Story. Let us continue as we're moving on to episode 5. And yes, I have been watching this show in bits and pieces uh, between the the episodes. I think I'm on episode uh, about 18 or so right now, which is crazy because it doesn't feel like it's been that much. But oh my god, this show is the best show to watch while I'm just chilling out. Getting ready to go to bed, I'll throw on an episode, and it will make me feel all warm, happy feelings, except for that one episode which basically made me cry. And hey look, it's all Sakura's friends, who I don't know the names of. This one likes weird occult stuff. Naoko, that's her name. These are the ones that I look at, and I'm like, no, those ones act and look like their age of basically 12-year-olds. Like, Sakura and Tomoyo, it's like, you look at them and you're like, it's so weird to think that you're only meant to be in grade four. But these girls, it's like, yeah, no, I, I get that. But I guess that's just a thing for for how main character... There's nobody in grade four in real life who looks like a main character. Oh, but yeah, Sakura hates the occult and spooky ghost stuff. But of course, all their friends do. That's pretty spooky. And how would... I'd say how would people know that, but I guess they could just, you know, talk. It's not like it kills them or anything. That's a later episode. I think that second one was a uh, yokai, actually. Yeah, Sakura hates this kind of stuff. To, uh, to... Oh my god, it's a Sawi! To a point where I'm like, wow, you are not cut out to be a main character at times. Alright, let's all go to class and learn grade 4 stuff, like... Multiplication. Look at our little outfit! We're a bunny! Gotta, 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 you know, make it a little easier on ourselves by dressing up as something super cute. Wow, thanks for being on my side, Tomoyo. She is such a magical girl. Like, it's very clear that the magical girl genre exists in this world. Because, of course, whenever you're watching a show of that genre, you think, does this show's genre exist in our world? And it's like, yeah, for this one, 100%. Oh, all right, let's see. Oh, that was fast. I didn't even get to move. Okay. If it's a cloak card, we, we get it and it's fine. And if it's not a cloak card, oh god, ghosts are real. Okay, let's go. But first off, hey, there's a card I want to get. What's down here? Anything? Oh, big spook. Little spooky music. I love these sprites, honestly. It's so good. Oh, let me get this card. Yeah, thank you. Get the voice card, but what's also, let's check this way. Is there another card this way? Oh, 
It's heading this way. What's well, weird, it's going in a non-linear pattern. I mean, I guess ghosts don't have to follow, like, logic. Ghost rules are different in every, every single type of medium. Alright. You know, if the map wasn't here, this would be a lot worse. Anything here? Oh. Just... things? Nothing there. It sounded like a, like a, like a bird. Thing here? Whoa! Did I find a secret area? What? Oh no, this was where I had to go, which means I'll miss all the items! That's fine. Oh. Well. This is not good. Oh, she had the, the, the shield item from Monkey Ball. To be fair, this was a actually terrifying, like, to, to see, just seeing someone against their will walking towards an edge of something is really, it's freaky to watch, because you're like, what can you do? Alright, we're gonna have to chase after our mom in a mini game, or is it just gonna be more walking? It looks like just more walking for now. さっきまではビクビクしとったのに。って幽霊じゃないって分かったし。それにお母さんに化けるなんて許せないもん。うん。先ほどは本当に危なかったですわ。クレちゃん、気をつけてくださいね。親でさくら。前もさくらに怪我
kind of shows how strong her magic is, even though at this point she doesn't know how to use it. Yeah, and the characters all refer to her being... There's actually, that's the thing that I was really surprised at in the show. It's like all the characters, whenever there's a character who's dead and a kid is talking about them, they say like, oh yeah, they're in heaven right now. And I'm like, oh, it's so pure. But is it going to show the important thing after this? That's what I'm, that's what I'm wondering about. Is it going to show it? Oh, yeah, I think it is. In a, in a cutscene, thankfully. I want a shirt that just says basic items on it. Oh, there it is. Oh man, I'd be lying if I said I didn't, I didn't tear up just a little bit, just a little bit when I saw that. Even though I sort of knew. Like, it was one of those things that I didn't remember, uh... I didn't remember from watching it as a kid, but then, like, as soon as I saw it again, I'm like, it does a bit ring a bell. So here we learn the just kind of dropped for a good bunch of episodes uh, plot point that Toya can totally see ghosts. But he hasn't for a while, he said. But like, yeah, it's kind of, kind of like, oh, makes you think about the rest of the family, you know? But uh, it would make sense that, it, because it doesn't make sense if just one sibling gets the powers. Gotta have a liquid snake, except, you know, friendly. I, I will say, like, I was just, I was watching the show and I was thinking, you know, Toya is kind of like a, a brother version of a Sundere, which I don't know what that would be, but... I wonder if this in the original was like handwritten or something to make it look like this, or... I don't know, it'd be interesting to see. Because of course they can't really... Like for hand the handwritten sprites, they'd probably have to totally just re... I have no idea how ROM hacking works. Soccer and friends go shopping! This episode doesn't sound that exciting. But then I remember which card this is, and I'm like, oh wait, it totally is. Oh, I wonder if we're gonna get the cards we didn't get in episodes by going there. Because I know they go there, like, in the show, but... Are we going to do another fortune telling to get the cards that we missed? I'm trying to even think about any that we didn't get through the show. Hey, there's one just there. There's What's-His-Face. Uh, so I remember this character being way more important in the show. Like, in, in I mean, in the card captors. I remember him being a pretty major character. But, like, in the beginning, he doesn't appear often. I forget this guy's name. Yamazaki, that's his name. I, and, and his little finger-waving thing. I, like, I, as a kid, would do that. Because of him. Also, yeah, he, he, he lies. Like, I don't think that's true at all. I... Wow, she said that with such conviction. He's a good character, though. I like him quite a bit. Who's this character in the corner? You look like a character from a pre- uh, an upcoming or previous episode. Okay, so, uh, do you- can you do fortune telling? Yes. Sure. Yes. Let's- oh. 
So we're gonna do fortune telling. Can you imagine just like, it's like, oh, let me get the stuff in the back. Let me just push aside these two girls doing fortune telling. I, do, I don't think there's any that are at this point, like, missing, but I could be totally forgetful, so we'll have to see. All right, let's give this a shot. Let's get a better fortune now that I know what I'm doing, except even though it's totally random. Okay. Hey, we got one match. Yes, good. We're doing better than last time, kind of. Oh, come on. Yes, another match. So we're, we've now, we're as good as we were last time. Let's try and get another. Oh, hey, nice. Yeah, we're doing better. I wonder if they're like the same each time or if it is just different. Okay, there, oh, we get one more. Okay. So let's see what our fortune is. It's passable. Hey, I'll take it. All right, hey. I am out of school now. I am a teacher. Green? Okay, hey, there's one. Oh, the silent card, right, yeah, that- Oh, that's who the, uh, the, the character in the hat there. That's the girl from the silent card episode, yes. Uh, well, it looks like a boy, and then the hat comes off. That was actually a really good episode, because it's basically, there's a painting in a museum that, like, is has a card capture card in it, and, but if you make a sound, it, re it rewinds time and kicks you out, so it's a whole episode of them, like, it's a heist episode, but they can't make a single sound while getting it, but of course, Sakura needs to do her incantations to use the cards, so it's like, it's a really good episode, I really like that one. Yeah, that, that character in the top corner is the one. Uh, that, see, that one would make a bit more sense to actually have in this one, but that's okay. Oh, they, I guess they don't buy the things that we... Oh. Oh, interesting, okay. Huh. I thought that they would go and get the pin, though. Okay, maybe that's next episode. Because that episode, I was like, this one has to be in the game. It's so, like, action-y. I feel like this is a good way to, to at least, because you have to have the cards in here for if they ever get used for something. So you want to collect the cards, so I feel like it's a good way to do it. Yeah, we'll save and do one more, because that episode was literally nothing. Yeah, we'll do one more. What's the next episode? I wonder who that character is, despite him being... Oh, right, because I know it is after. So this was the first episode aired for Card Captors when it aired in America. We got the episodes normally, but in America it aired wrong, because that's what America likes to do. Uh, everyone knows this character now. He's super popular. But at the time, it would have been interesting to see. I would have loved to watch this show in real time, but... Alas, it is not the 90s anymore. Or is this 2000s? I don't know. Regardless. Well, I guess you could have read it in the 90s for sure, but I don't know when the show itself actually aired, so...
Always, I find it interesting she knew she knows that that's like Chinese clothes. I mean, I think most grade fours wouldn't. But I guess it might be different, the knowledge between, you know, Japanese children and stuff. Dreams are important is basically the thing. Gotta run with toast in our mouth. Maybe we'll run into him and he'll be our lover. <laughs> That's insane. That's not gonna happen. Oh, how fitting. Oh, interesting. They spell his name L I. I always. I always did Shaoran L-E-E, -E, but that's fine. His name was not changed for North America, which was nice. Which makes sense, because him being from Hong Kong is a thing. Also, yes, that is his default expression, which is really funny, just seeing him just staring off at stuff with an angry face. Wow, how embarrassing. Oh no! He's in the rival seat, the protagonist seat. God, I still can't believe the protagonist seat is such an embedded thing in the culture. What a dork, though. He's such a dork. I love him. Maybe it was love at first sight. No, it was it was certainly not love. It was a very different emotion. Are we gonna get to see Toya beef with a with a grade four student? It's my favorite thing is seeing this like high schoolers say he's gonna beat up a fourth grade student. To be fair, to be fair, it's protecting the little sister, because like I say, he is a sundere, so... Oh, he's he's holding his uh his magic his his Chinese compass, which actually we we were joking about like because we we're talking about fighting game notations and uh, some people say you know if you're doing a Hadoken it should be two three wait I don't even know but like like you know like like a calculator notation and then we we're joking we need to use like the Chinese like board notation what he's using. He's just doing motions, Street Fighter motions. See, he's he's doing a quarter circle right now. Yeah, the compass, the Chinese compass, that's what it is. Okay, Virgil. Look at this, look at this fight. Oh, here we go! <laughs> beef, beef, beef! And I love how they even did, like, Toya's fighter stance in his crane style. But I love how it it sounded like he was yelling from the other end of like the recording studio. Oh yeah, Kempo, that's Chinese martial arts. Oh but here comes Yukito. Got buns. So are are we not gonna address the fact that Yukito is just Sans Undertale? Oh, I want to try curry bread so badly. I have a pork bun. Yo, if a boy gave me his pork bun, I'd be so head over heels for him. Okay, but here's the thing. Here's something that I did not realize watching this as a child, but just realized watching it now. Lee is infatuated by Yukito, along with Sakura. 
I did not know it was a love triangle, but in a different way. Like, I... I don't... Because I feel like, like, it is... It's not like a little thing with, like, Tomoyo, where it can just be put off as, like, oh, it's, you know, they're good friends. No, no, no. I have no idea how they got rid of that for the North American release of Card Captors. I actually need to track down and watch it again to see how they go around it because it is so overt. Like, how would they do this scene? I don't know. Because the whole th I mean, unless they edit out the blur. So it'd be interesting to see. But yeah, he's super, super infatuated and has a crush on uh, Yukito. And I told my, my one friend said, well... Have you seen how nice Yukito is? Everyone wants him. And I'm like, yeah, no, that makes sense. So yeah, we're starting to get into the international aspect of this. And when they say English, they literally mean like European and Chinese. And now we're in Japan. So that's really cool. Because there's a lot of stuff where it talks about... um. Like, the magic circles and how, like, the, the magic circles in Cardcaptor Sakura literally combine a western magic circle and an eastern magic circle. And that's really cool! あ、<笑><笑> Uh, yes, the extended. We got the family tree going on. その so that's why I find it interesting that the North American release was called Card Captors, because then they really pushed Lee as the secondary main character. Because, of course, you gotta have someone for the boys. It's not like boys can relate to Sakura, despite the fact that I relate to Sakura more than any Western male character, as a kid at least, but... Oh, right! There's the whole thing where she has to sign the cards to be hers. Oh, we didn't get to see uh, Tomoyo give her this cell phone, and it's this redonkulously massive old phone. But here's the thing. So I did watch... The reason I started re-watching Card Captors is because I started to watch the new series, which is coming on right now, uh, The Clear Card Saga. And so I watched it, and Sakura has, like, a smartphone in it. And I'm like, wait a second. So, to But, I mean, then, you know, if you think about it, because they're going into junior high, so it's probably about three or four years. So I could definitely see technology advancing, you know, if in, in, a, in a magic slash, you know, magic realism world where, yeah, you can go from old flip phones to, not even flip phones, these are, like, the brick phones, to smartphones in a couple years, but... <laughs> Yeah, so I started watch. I watched the first episode of the Clear Card Saga, and I was like, ah, uh, and so they're saying all these names that I don't know, and I'm like, I should go back and rewatch the original, because I'm like, I watched it as a kid, I should know, and I was like, oh god, I don't know at all. Whoa, stormy, which is my favorite type of weather in the summer. Actually, I love, I love a good rain. I, uh, Caro, it's the weather. It could just be regular weather, but... Caro, it, it could just be natural phenomenon, but... 
That's a base element. Yeah, let's do this. But also, let's have an actual mini game because those have been really fun so far. But uh, hopefully, oh, this looks like a mini game. Look at her cat outfit. Apparently, it says in because at the end of episodes, it talks about uh, how her outfit is and you know how it's sort of how it was made. Apparently, it's like all rubber, so it's super safe here. But. Where the attack hits, clouds always glow. Stand where the clouds aren't glowing in your golden. Is this going to be a side scroller? Please be a side scroller. Okay. Dodge the lightning. Okay. Whoa! Okay. Whoa! Hey, there he is. Uh, okay, I didn't play that, but... Whoop. Okay, enough with the Kochia. I do like the, the design of the lightning card. Uh, I think it appears in the opening. Oh, whoa, did you see the lightning sprite color the sprite? Look at that! Whoa, that looks so good! Let's jump. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's like it's like a like a regular sort of thunder beast sort of thing. It's awesome. Oh jeez. There we go. Wow, that's loud. It might not be as loud on your end, but it's loud for me. Yeah, the the um the sprite for when the lightning flashes is so good. Okay. Oh, wow, there I go. Get back up. Okay. Now it's getting harder. One, two, three, four. Okay, so now we gotta actually move during it. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're safe here. And we're gonna jump. Alright, we're at the school. Oh man, the way he puts his fingers on the sword was the dopest thing as a kid. Also, yeah, Chinese Thunder, very different from Clo Thunder, I guess. Yeah, there it is, the Lightning Beast. This shot here, like, is, is childhood iconic for me. A hundred percent. So he just uses kind of generic magic, where, you know, Sakura uses the cloak cards. And I find that an interesting dynamic, for sure. Oh, listen to that stock anime roar. I mean, sure, it's it's just lightning, but I guess with enough shadow you can quench any light. I'm kind of pulling this out of my butt. There we go. But I think, doesn't she give the one to Lee? Or do we get it? Look at his little outfit. Yeah, sorry, we're kind of new to this. It's not like we trained since birth like you. Okay, bye. You big tsundere. 
God, all the males in this are tsundere's. It's really, really apparent. Yeah, that's okay. I don't think we'll read all this. You can read it. Okay. Righty-o, let's save. So thank you all for watching, everyone. And next time, we're going to move on to the next chapter. And we're going to say continue playing. Well, actually, let's just take a look here. Let's, let's see what the voice data is that we've been getting. If we go to Tomoyo's room, is it just random voice clips? Are they subtitled? Okay, so voice gallery. Compatible with the pocket station. Are you serious? What? Buy voices? Like... Oh my god. So you can buy these? Oh my god, you can buy these? Put these onto your pocket station? And play them? That's so neat. Do we have any illustrations unlocked? Okay, let's just see here. Well, let's, let's so let's 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 buy a couple. See what they look like. You, okay, so Sakura one. Oh my god, concept art. Oh my god. That seems like such a small inconsequential thing. But you know I'm so into that. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, it's so good! I just wish it was in, like, super clean quality, because it is a PS1 graphic, so it is, like, super low quality, but that's fine. Costume designs? Oh, it's so good. You know someone's ripped all these and put them online, though. God, I need that as an iPhone case right now. Next convention I go to, that's a must-grab. Alright, so what else is here? So we got, uh... Oh god, the fact that you can load pocket station sounds is the most 90s thing. Movie gallery. How many are there? Can we see a count? Okay, so just how many you have. Okay. Sakura's picture diary. Do we get to see the pictures on their own? So you can buy diary pages. Okay, that's fine. It looks like it's just them. Normally, sound gallery. Listen to music that plays. Oh, we can just play it. Peaceful day. Did we buy that one? I guess we might have. Oh, this is so good. Again, this is like stuff that you can just have. And oh man, as a kid, this would be so good for, for people who love the show. So are the mini games? Okay, so yeah, the mini games are just the mini games again that you can play at any time. That's awesome. Thank you all for watching. And uh, next time, and apparently this is like if you can, they, they said that this is actually pocket pocket station compatible if you have a pocket station you can connect it and get these things and that's amazing so uh thank you for watching and next time we'll be back for some more card capture sakura animatic story thank you for watching guys ciao What you gonna do?